Testing. One, two, three. Switch back over my headset. Testing. One, two, three. Testing. One, two, three. <clears throat> all right. That looks a little bit all right. <clears throat> all right, man. Testing. If anybody's in here, I apologize. I'm uh, really trying to uh, get this audio working. It doesn't want My headset, for some reason, is starting to drop out all the time. It worked for a while, but then it stopped working. Testing. It's working now. Wonder how long it's gonna work. All right. Want to uh, test out some of my filters, so I'm gonna turn on some tools here. Alexa, turn on dust dust collector. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two.
All right, well, doesn't look like uh, the mic is going to work on my headset. Let's keep dropping out. So I'm going to go ahead and continue on. I apologize uh, for those of you who have been watching me test my mic. My headset is wanting to drop out. I don't know if it's the uh, new filters I put in place, if it's the monitoring that I've got going on, but the headset mic will last for about five minutes and then it drops out. So. Uh, what I'm going to do to uh, night on the first time I'm going to do is replace a saw stop Break cartridge. I not the top. What was it? Yesterday, the day before, and went to turn on my uh, saw stop over here, and wouldn't turn on. Then I looked at the uh, lights and noticed that they said the uh, brake cartridge has been activated. Well, was even on, and so then uh, I opened up the uh, the insert, looked in there, and Sure enough, the uh, the uh, brake cartridge was pushed up against the uh, blade. It didn't go into the brake cartridge at all; just pushed up against it. And the only reason I even have kind of scratches here is because I took my uh, wrench and tried to uh, rotate the blade a little bit, see how tight it was up against it. So anyway, I had to go out and buy a new. Uh, Brake cartridge because the saw won't work even in bypass mode. Won't work without it. So, going to uh, put that in here. Okay. So, you guys want to see what that's like? Let's stick around. How's everybody doing tonight? Hey, Mocha. Uh, thanks for stopping by. I don't know if you're still here, but it looks like you're in here. Uh, appreciate that. Appreciate the uh, follows that you sent my way for. Uh, give me just a second here. I'm going to set up my camera and see if I can get it closer to the break cartridge. My actual plug. In a minute here, I'm going to move my camera around a little bit. Yeah. Switch to this cam while I move the other camera around. Sorry, I was watching on another computer and I thought it was still showing both cameras on. Switching the other one around so you can watch as I replace a soft stop brake cartridge. Hey, boy. Looks like you're in here. I appreciate everybody that's dropping by. Uh, definitely a new streamer trying to work things out. Uh, was working on my OBS, but seemed to have a problem with the headset mic. This one dropped out, so I apologize. I'm having to use the mic on the uh, laptop. So this is uh, my part, first time replacing a soft stop cartridge. It was a pulp activation. You can uh, see here, it really didn't impress into the brake cartridge at all because 
definitely activated. Do not know what activated it. Is the saw was on? I mean, the saw wasn't on. It's was plugged in. The switch was on, but it wasn't. All right, let me, uh, let me grab my new project card here. I just noticed I forgot to uh, change my project on my OBS here. Got to change it on the uh, stream as well. Got a lot to learn about streaming. It's kind of what my uh, channel's kind of about is I am a new woodworker, and so I have been buying new tools and trying to uh, do new skills. I've been building a lot of the shop around me, so I'm also building up you know, cabinets and everything behind me. I can shop through it a little bit. And those are like so new cartridge. I think I'm doing all this. Really quickly, I'm going to go into OBS and change my project. Description. Is my audio coming across okay for everybody? Hopefully it's working. I'm not seeing anything in chat, so I hope it's, let me make sure my advanced audio is both monitoring and going out. Oh.
Testing, one, two, three. Testing, one, two, three. Ah, okay, now it seems to be working. Testing one, testing one, two, three, testing. All right, I don't know if anybody's still in here, but I apologize. It looks like I was having audio issues. My OBS was uh, showing that uh, sound was going through, but it, Evidently wasn't going out, so man, sucks because there were several people seemed to have dropped by. I apologize for that. All right, I'm gonna give this a minute. Um, in the background, I got a second computer on, monitoring a little bit. So if you hear feedback. Hey, Shay Shay Box. Uh, for one, I am trying to mess with OBS settings, and evidently I had my audio cut out and it wasn't broadcasting earlier. Uh, so that was the first thing. So I'm testing some audio filters that I put in place so that when my tools come on, you guys don't hear that. But I was losing audio from going out because I was trying to monitor it in my ears as well. So that was the first thing. Uh, what I just got done doing, and I can probably do it again because I need the practice, but um, a couple of days ago, I came out to work in my shop and my saw stop would not start. And it said that the uh, brake cartridge had been activated. Uh, the machine was not in rotation at all. Uh, it was on, but not in, uh, turned on. But when I went to turn it on, uh, it didn't turn on, and then I looked at the light, and it said that uh, there was a brake, da brake activation. So I looked in there, and sure enough, the, the cartridge was activated, and it was pushed up against the blade, but that's it. It didn't go into the blade at all, or go into the cartridge at all. And you see a couple scratches there. If I can. Uh, Get that in the light right, light right, right light. Uh, there's some scratches there, but that's only because I had turned the blade to actually see if it was up and engaged. So I did buy a replacement cartridge because unfortunately, even in bypass mode, you cannot turn the saw stop on if there is not a cartridge in it. So I just got done. Uh, replacing the cartridge, but if anybody's interested, I can do that again because it seems to be pretty easy. Um, also, uh, something else I may be doing is uh, I do have some drawers that I'm working on. Uh, here, I'll swing around here a little bit. But uh, over here, I've been building all of my shop. And over in this little section over here on the right, I am building drawers. And so I may be making the uh, drawer boxes for those tonight. That's what I was in the middle of when the saw stop went down. Other than that, I may just kind of do some OBS testing and some cleanup on the shop. How are you doing tonight, Shay Shay Box? I'm going to reach down here and put in this locking mechanism pin.
right. That took some fiddling to get in, but seems to be okay now. All right, I am going to test a couple more audio filters that I did uh, for the OBS. Hopefully, I'm going to turn on some tools and see if uh, it cuts out the uh, noise filter. Alexa, turn on dust collector. Still seems to be picking up a little bit. All right. So now I'm going to um, plug in my saw stop and see if it, what the lights tell me. Well, lights are telling me that everything is good. So, let me lower things down. Not lower the blade down all the way. Going to uh, go ahead and turn on the saw stop and see what this sounds like with the filters. Yeah, that seems to be cutting out okay. All right, so. Now I'm just going to test with the shop back, see if it cancels out the sound there. All right, it seems to be mostly canceling out most of my tool noise except for the uh, Dust collector. Can I give it one more shot? Alexa, turn on dust collector. Oh, she ignored me. Alexa, turn on dust collector. Alexa, turn off dust collector. All right, I'm going to switch back to single camera for a minute while I put this uh, other camera back up on the tripod. All right. All right, things look good here, so take it off the uh, 
mini stand and put it on the tripod. Hoping everything's okay because people seem to be coming in, but not sticking around. All right. I get this set back up again. So I sent a message out to uh, SawStop about the uh, break cartridge. Uh, told them that it seemed to be a false activation. See if they would please send me out maybe a replacement cartridge for free. But uh, we'll see what they say about that. In the meantime, um, may work on uh, just cleaning up some of my shop here. I'm not sure if I'm going to get into uh, drawers tonight or not. I um, was hoping the stream was going to go a little bit better than this, but uh seemed to have some audio stumbling blocks. So, yeah. Clean things up a bit here. See, I got So something else I may do, I got my first woodpecker tool. <clears throat> got the uh, first one, got the 24-inch uh, uh, TS24 square on there. So I may build a spot to put up on the French cleat wall back there. Um, let's see if I have a cleat that's still long enough. This way I can uh, test out Test out the uh, saw stop, make sure it seems to be working okay since I replaced the cartridge. Uh, I'll be right back. I'm going to try to find a scrap of wood. Got my camera there so I can uh, 
quickly make a cleat. Hey, j and B, how are you doing? Can you hear me okay? I was having some audio issue audio issues earlier. Cool. Um, yeah, I was messing with my OBS settings earlier, and I guess I had it set up to monitor and it said going to monitor now, but wasn't going out on the stream, so I got that fixed. So thanks. Uh, um, thanks about the shop. Uh, I've kind of built all this myself, all these cabinets that you see back here, French cleat wall on the back cabinets. It's kind of what my channel is about is I'm a new woodworker, and I was lucky enough to have a wife that let me claim the three-car garage. And so... This channel is kind of all about me building my shop, building my skills, trying new things out, and just getting experience along the way. Also, something else that I do is uh, I am trying to introduce my daughter into making things. And so you'll see her on streams with me. We just got done building a dollhouse. We're going to be building a big rainbow playset here pretty soon. So. Uh, teaching her how to use some tools and whatnot. So kind of what my channel is about here. So uh, what I'm working on now is really quickly, I'm going to make a cleat that I can throw up on the uh, French cleat wall to hold a, a new woodpecker tool. That I bought. So I'm going to make that cut real quick. It gives me a chance to test out my audio cancellation. It seems to be, though, uh, the audio cancellation will cut out the table saw, but it's not cutting out the uh, dust collection. So on this one, I'm going to leave the dust collection off and see if uh, it cancels out the table saw for the most part. So give me just a minute, and I'm going to push a uh, stick of wood here and make a cleat. Yeah, I kind of figured uh, that was going to be what it was. I'll look more into it, but I'm not sure if I can cancel it out or not. So, may uh, lean on the Craftsman's Guild for a little bit for that, see if uh, help in adjusting some of the settings. Anyway, I want to make sure this yep, cleat fits up there nicely. So, now just going to take this. Racket 
and measure out my length. So how's your evening going, JMB? Hey, Mechaform, how are you doing? Thanks for stopping by. For anybody that uh, stopped in earlier, I had some audio issues. I apologize for that. Trying to figure out all this streaming stuff. All right. Put my cross cut cross cut sled back up here. This was my last project that I made was this uh, cross cut sled with adjustable inserts in here so that I can put different blade curves in there and adjust the insert up against the blades for zero clearance. Yeah, there's a definitely a lot to figure out and stuff and it's trying to apply some audio filters and some of them worked out and then trying to do some monitoring in my ear. I think that's where I messed up was doing some of the monitor monitoring is what prevented the audio from going out to the stream. Yeah, I did a little cleaning of the shop myself. Um, I wanted to get some more cameras, so I'm not just moving these all around. So I had to do that myself. So I'm not sure about Sasaki. I did look in the guild, and I did apply uh, four different filters, a compressor, a, a gate, a limiter, and I forget the other one. I got those in play, and those seem to be working pretty well. I mean, at least from my OBS side of things. Um, just seems to be the dust collector that kind of gets through, but it's much higher uh, noise level or frequency. Oh, you have to put them in the right order. Okay. I did not know that order played a factor, so I may have to check that because I think I kind of put them in, but put them in in different orders. So that was something that I was not aware of. Thank you. Yeah, the other thing is, is I was new to Discord as well, so. I did join the uh, the guild Discord. I joined about a month or so ago. Got in there, but it was quite a bit to figure out at first. You know, a lot of information and stuff, a lot of different channels. And then finally, I kind of spent some time in there and found some settings and stuff. So, um, yeah, seems to be doing a lot better. I definitely have a lot more things to set up, trying to get all my scenes done and whatnot. So. Anyway, now I uh, got a cleat, got a racket for my TS24. So I'm just going to screw this in. Actually, that's a good thing. I need to see if I have some screws. I was running low on them the other day. Well. Uh, 
give me a minute here trying to find some screws. Yeah, I mean, it seems to be a wonderful community. I've been sitting in on some streams and stuff, and there's just some great people uh, there. Um, yeah, trying to do this uh, Twitch deal and, you know, get to affiliates, get to followers, get to commenters, you know, trying to figure out all the streaming stuff. Uh, Discord, all this. Uh, it's a lot to uh, take in when pretty new, so. Let's see here. Guess I can do this over here. Let me get a drill so I can put a pilot hole there. Oh, good to mention. Okay. I never thought about it in the aspect, so. Okay, so it doesn't downsample that. So uh, is there a different setting that I should be uh, setting the uh, OBS to? I just figured highest quality in Twitch kind of probably down down sampled that. I never even thought about that. Definitely know how those rural ISPs are. I used to be rural myself for half of my life. Yes, anybody that has any comments, feedback, or anything, man, much appreciated. I have a lot to take in. All right, it's good to know. Was not aware of that. Uh, I will play with that after the stream tonight then. It surprises me that that's something that they don't do. Well, I can understand. I was on your streams and it looked good, you know, so, uh, yeah. All right, just going to toss this up here. There. That was my first woodpecker tool. Not sure how many I'm going to buy, you know. Um, price is high. I know the quality's quality's great. Um, right now for... Now, for what I do and stuff, I don't know if I can justify buying too many woodpecker uh, tools right now. Um, the other thing that, you know, I want to do with this stream, um, I guess you guys weren't there earlier, but what my channel's all about is I'm a new woodworker. Uh, talked my wife into claiming this garage, and so my channel's kind of about me building my tool, uh, my workshop, building up my experience, building up tools. Was lucky enough to. I came across a saw stop in December, so I did purchase that. I was working with an old craftsman table saw. It was good, but definitely a saw stop is a big upgrade. Yeah, I know. I mean, Bridge City. I, I what? I did look at them, and man, I'm just, 
I'm not to that level yet. When my skills get up there, hopefully, you know, they do. Uh, you know, I've I've done some projects already. I've done some pretty good projects and stuff. But I want to do some others. But man, some of those some of those uh, tools are pretty expensive. Thank you. Uh, something else I do is uh, I have a couple of VODs out there, but um, something else I do is I get my daughter on stream and we build things together, uh, try to teach her how to use power tools, how to do things and stuff. So it's also about uh, uh, teaching her how to be a bit of a builder. So yeah, I, I, I do like them. Um, we'll see along the way, but yeah. Anyway, this uh, this woodpecker was on sale, so I felt a little bit justified by it. But yeah, and I could see myself using it quite a bit. I think I, my wife does want me to build some cabinets and stuff. Uh, so those are kind of next up on my project list. My last one was this table saw sled. Um, I built all these cabinets that you see back here, French cleat wall. I did build all that. Um, let's see if I got it here. For Christmas, I did some, let's put this over here. Christmas, I did some cutting boards and whatnot. So, um, I gave away several gifts. This is one I kind of kept for myself. It's not quite finished yet. But I kind of uh, dabbling in a whole bunch of things just to, Get my comfort level up, my skills, you know, doing glue ups, you know, all that, uh, getting everything, you know, nice and clean and square. So, thank you. Something that you may have missed, what I just got done doing, my, my audio was out for the first part of it, was I had to replace a saw stop cartridge earlier so yes very much you do have to climb ladder one rung at a time you know there's a lot of projects i want to do but i'm not quite up to that level yet so hopefully i get there you know and stuff but it's a learning process but yeah uh, one of the things i did earlier tonight at the beginning of the stream uh came out to i'm working on some drawer boxes for b behind me and I went to turn on my saw and it did not turn on. And I uh, looked down at the lights and it said that there was a brake cartridge activation. And <clears throat> I started looking, I was like, well, it hasn't been on or anything, you know, uh, the, it, the power is on, it wasn't in rotation or anything. So I opened it up and sure enough, not sure if you can see it there. Um, it was activated, so it did shoot up here, but if you look at it, it didn't cut into the brake at all, and there are a couple scratches there, but those came from me just, it was pushed up against the blade, and I was just kind of rotating the blade to see if it was actually engaged, and it was. So it was a complete, to my knowledge, complete false activation. Unfortunately, I had to go out and spend a hundred bucks on a. Yeah, I should be able to. I did send an email to them, you know. But in the meantime, I had to buy, you know, another cartridge, you know. So I had to go out and spend a hundred bucks and get another cartridge codes because can't even turn it on in bypass mode. So anyway, that was a couple of things I've done so far tonight. Um, I was going to make some drawer boxes tonight, but may hold off on that. Uh, I may cut this stream just a little bit short. I uh, got off to a very slow start trying to figure out the audio issues and whatnot. So, um, yeah. Is there any uh, questions that you have or anybody else? Looks like there's maybe a couple people in here. So, 
Yeah, hopefully uh, Sauce Sop is pretty good. I, I've heard they've been pretty good about sending out some replacement cartridges and whatnot. But I'm just curious to what actually activated it. No, I, I've I've enjoyed watching a lot of streams. So, um, yeah, I started following a few people around here. I haven't been watching long, but I enjoy what what I do watch. So, it's a good community. So, let's see. I'm gonna probably clean up just a bit here and then I am probably going to call it a night and probably stream tomorrow and start off with drawer boxes and hopefully everything goes well so thank you guys for stopping by uh thank you guys for commenting in the stream I appreciate it those of you who give me follows I appreciate it doesn't look like my uh my goal meter is moving appropriately because uh Moco, ma uh, Moco, um, I forget their name, Moco, uh, Moco Made, they uh, shouted me out on stream, and uh, quite a few people came and followed there, so I much appreciate that. Just really trying to get to Twitch affiliates so it can kind of unlock some things for me, so. Yeah, I was going to uh, look and see who was, uh, who was on that I could raid out to, so let me get over to stream. This is some things that I need to kind of have set up in advance, so bear with me for a moment here. All right, I do have somebody that I'm following on here that I can raid out to. Ah, I do not want audio coming through. Mute Twitch. All right, now I just need to get over to the raid functionality. Forget what the uh, command is. That's the other thing. Is like I get used to this. So I'm gonna hop over to the Twitch tools and do it from there. So bear with me for a minute here. I apologize. This will be probably the only the second raid out that I've ever done. All right, thank you for stopping by. It is much, much appreciated. Hopefully I have better streams coming up in the future. Thank you.